Aloha, it's Lola with Raw Mess. If you're anything like me, it's Christmas and you still haven't gotten everyone gifts yet. Not to worry, late gifts are still awesome. The thing about getting gifts late is it's kind of like the party's still going. So you have like a window of time when it's still acceptable to send people Christmas gifts or holiday gifts, whatever you celebrate. And I think that window kind of goes through January. <laughs> Obligatory gifts aren't usually very good. I don't like giving them, I don't like getting them. This is so awkward. It's usually a waste, you don't end up using them, and it kind of brings to light the fact that the person doesn't know you very well, <laughs> or they just left you to the last minute, and it's like, oh, you should have just saved your money and used it for something more important. So I like to really, really take time and decide what's best for each person I'm getting a gift for, keeping within vegan parameters. So, if you have vegan people in your life and you couldn't figure out what to get them for the holidays, I have seven awesome gifts that they will love. Number seven on the list is Lush Beauty Products. Lush is a store that sells soaps, lip scrubs, they even have some makeup, they have moisturizers, and they have a lot of vegan products. I have here face moisturizer which is called Magical Moringa and I have a mint julep lip scrub and the mint julep lip scrub tastes so good oh you're not supposed to eat it if you get some in your mouth it's not a big deal that's like why it's sweet and stuff it's like super good honestly I don't really like this one but it's just what I have and I wanted to show you guys something I wouldn't recommend the Magical Moringa it kind of smells weird this is so awkward Lush also has some really amazing vegan soaps that I don't have with me because I used them all but one I tried that was really good it was like a rainbow color I'll see if I can find it and put a picture of it here their soaps smell really good and their packaging is awesome because they wrap their soap in paper so you're not bringing home plastic another thing I really love from Lush are these little travel tins you can put soap in it. They actually come with their shampoo. They have a shampoo bar. It does smell really good and it's awesome for travel because you don't have to worry about liquid spilling. And they package them in these little tins. And then when you use all the shampoo, you know, you can fill it with something else or of course more bar shampoo. I bought a few extras. I think they're $3 each. And I put other things like shaving cream and lotion and coconut oil in them. These are really good for dry things. If you do put liquid stuff in it, probably use more thick liquids like shaving cream for example. Number six on the list is a charcoal mask. This is awesome for the nose area. I'm telling you, after I use this, my pores disappear. It's crazy. I just bought this off of an Instagram ad because I'm a sucker, but I, luckily, like this one. Number five on the list is Vegan Purse. This is by a brand called Alyssa. I got it at Ross along with the other purse I will show you in a second. I got these two vegan purses at Ross. They actually had a tag on them that said vegan. The lining is really cute. It's some sort of animal print. Pretty good quality. The other purse I got by the same brand is a smaller one. It's really cool. It has this flap that also has a zipper where you can store extra things in it. There were other vegan brands there. I just happen to like these two the best. It does feel like faux leather. Thumbs up to Ross for having products that actually say the word vegan on them. Number four on the list is actually one of my favorites. I was going to put it as number one, but I wanted to keep all of the girly, you know, beauty stuff on this end and then the other stuff on the other end but this could easily be number one it is my vegan dry skin brush by Sano Naturals so it's got vegan bristles of course and oh my gosh it's seriously my favorite thing I just well I'm gonna show you on my arm but I do this on my legs but I brush upwards towards my heart and I start from the top of my foot and I go up the bottom half of my leg, and then I go over my knee. Pretend this is a leg. <laughs> then I'm not showing my legs because I haven't shaved. Not that women have to shave. But I just prefer smooth skin and I didn't put lotion on my legs. Let's just skip that. Okay, so pretend this is my knee. Then I go over my knee like that, and then I go up my thighs, and then I make sure to get the back of the thighs, 
and it's supposed to be good for reducing cellulite and things like that, get the circulation going. I do this before bed and every now and then like in the middle of the day or whenever I feel like it, oh my gosh, it's so relaxing and it's just soothing. You get this sort of tingly feeling up your leg and like almost like you put mentholated lotion on your legs somewhat. Like not exactly, but it's it's a little bit like that. And it just kind of wakes your legs up, but then it also relaxes you at the same time. So it's perfect to do before bed because then you're just like, ah, oh, I could sleep now. Isn't that how you sleep? So this is what the bristles look like up close. Pretty standard, it's just a brush. And the other side is a massage pad. If this were a human, I would marry. That's weird. Number three on the list is pretty big. Oh, it's dehydrator. Got these trays in it for the fruit or whatever you're dehydrating. So that is my dehydrator by Excalibur. That one is a five tray one. Now I will say for the dehydrator, only get them for someone you know likes to cook, is very patient, and has extra counter space. They are pretty big and they take a long time to use. I've only made apple chips with them, but for example, the apple chips take 17 hours to dehydrate. So you do it overnight, you wake up and you got yummy snacks. You can dehydrate a lot of things, apples, bananas, strawberries, mangoes, sweet potatoes, the list goes on and on. Number two on my list is my popcorn popper. Now this one's by Orville Redenbacher. I got it on Amazon. This gift is really awesome because it allows you to make an oil-free, healthy snack that tastes really good. I like to spray water on mine and sprinkle salt, sometimes pepper, sometimes nutritional yeast as well. Gives a tiny bit of a cheesy flavor and I pretty much use it every single day. That's why it's at the top of the list. Honestly, the last four items are kind of interchangeable as far as which ones are the best. All right, now we've made it to gift number one. Now you know this wouldn't be a proper vegan holiday gift guide if I didn't include a blender. Gift number one is pretty self-explanatory. I think most people know what a blender does. This one in particular is by Ninja, as you saw, and it's really good, it works great. I like to make smoothies with bananas and other assorted fruits and mixed greens. I also like to make nice cream with frozen bananas and assorted fruits. All right, so that concludes my top seven vegan holiday gifts. But of course, these gifts can be bought any time of the year for birthday, Mother's Day, Father's Day, um, thinking about you kind of day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment below. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Aloha. I did my makeup in the dark and <laughs> look kind of weird. I'm a ghost. Thank you for watching. If you liked washing. Let me just do one more. This is so ridiculous. I need a script. I have so many cuts in this video. <laughs>